Hello and welcome to my uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this effect on the screen. Um, this isn't actually my idea, it's from a YouTuber called Brackies and someone in my comment section put me onto this tutorial. I thought I would do it. He did it using visual shaders but today we're going to use it uh, with written shaders. So I'm going to start a new project and we're going to start from the beginning. What you're going to need, um, I'm going to open a sprite. So this is the animation we're going to use and to make something um, glow we need to have another uh, sprite that would go over this and this would be the emission so it would look like this and as you'll see it matches up with anywhere you see blue we'll, we'll see um, the glow so if you want to make something like this what I would recommend you would do is you'd go to your fill tool you would pick say white so this is the brightest color you press F fill tool and make sure to continuous is turned off and make one a little bit darker for this one a little bit darker for this blue and now you will pick the invisible color here we're gonna go over this and then we're gonna pick black and as you can see, I've just made an emission map. So we know this would fit the previous um, previous animation. So I'm going to start a new project. Oops. I'm going to save this. It's fine. New project. I'm just going to call this um, create order create, and I'm going to let that load up. So I've got my um, animations here. So we've got the emission. I've got the player one. I'm going to drag it in. Actually, so I've got emission one somewhere. Here it is. Let's delete that. So let's make a new scene. We'll just call this main. Uh, let's add in a node 2D. We'll call this player. And then we're gonna, oops, we're gonna add in an animated sprite. We're gonna go over to here, add a new right spring. Uh, we're gonna go to the sprite sheet. We'll select this. I know it is seven by one. Yours may differ. And I'm gonna select all frames so I know I've got it. And then I'm gonna put this to say 10 and I'm gonna have this as plain. So here we have just uh, the setup. So now we're going to uh, put in the node that will handle the, the bloom. So we're going to add in um, world environment mode. We're going to make sure new environment. We, now you need to make sure you go to back, background to canvas. So without that it won't work. Make sure you go down to your glow. You, we're going to turn it off. I'm going to leave this. Oh, actually, we're going to turn this additive on for now. Now I'm going to leave the, actually I'm going to turn strength down a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the animated sprite and this is where we're going to apply our shader. So we're going to go to our materials. Now make sure you pick new shader material. And then I'm going to click new shader. And I'm going to try to explain as I'm going on. You have to forgive me because I'm semi new to shaders. So um, this is a 2D shader so it's going to be a canvas. Shader type canvas item and then void frag because it's a fragment shader which is 2D. So the fragment shader will, um, that's like your main shader, add everything, it's like your main void. So the first thing it will do is run to the fragment. So anything that goes in here will constantly keep running. So we're going to get the current pixel it on our sprite so we say vet for current color equals texture and texture in capital letter is actually this this texture and UV means it's the coordinates inside this texture so now it'll run through the so if you imagine you've got a texture in front of you it'll run through the coordinates like this over and over and over 
and from that we could say hey what is that this pixel is it blue yes it is then change the color so I'm going to put in um, in fact we're going to load in an emission uh, texture so to do that we, we need a uniform so when you use a uniform it means you can drag information into the shader sampler 2d emission texture Wait, uh, update that and as you, if you go over to here to use uh, shader params this means now we can actually put in the shader texture so a, a texture and we're going to put the emission texture in so we know this emission texture will match over on top of this player texture and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same as the current texture but instead of this texture we're going to get the pixel of the emission texture so let's go emission color equals texture and we're going to say emission texture UV same again and then I'm going to say if emission dot color dot r it can be r g b it doesn't matter which one is greater than let's just say zero f for now and let's put an else down here oops and I'm gonna say we aren't over an emission pixel e color I'm going to say color equals emission color plus vec4 let's just go one and alpha unknown identifier what have I done wrong here oops that, because I didn't do an underscore so now you can see we've got like a red glow going on um, the reason that is is that I'm adding I'm getting the emission color I know that the, that's white underneath there so I'm saying hey is are we greater than a certain color yes we are and it goes I'm not explaining that very well uh, but what's happening here is we've got red green blue alpha and I'm adding that onto the, the player sprite depending on the emission pixel beneath if that makes any sense so this is a bit of an awkward way of doing it and um, so what I'm going to do is define a texture so we uh, sorry a color so we can manually do it in the in the editor so we're going to say uniform vec4 let's say um, glow color and I'm going to say hint color so we know that it, it'll come up as a color in the, in the editor vec4 and then what we're going to do is we're going to change this to our glow color and you can see it's changed there now when I go over here and that's pretty much it, um, I was a little bit quicker than I thought it was going to be so I probably should explain this a little bit better what's going on so what, what's happening here is we're getting the emission color of the emission texture and that and the pixel goes, hey, there's this is some white here, but we're going to go, oh, is there? Well, let's add glow to that white. Else, we're going to say, no, there's nothing there. Then the the player texture should, um, the player texture should remain normal. And that's just about as simple as I think I can explain it. Um, you can mess around with the strength in here. You can turn it off. You can go a bit crazy. We could change it to spotlight, which I, I kind of like. So the difference between spotlight and additive is that um, additive will actually say if there's a color beneath that um, glow, it'll add color to it. Where spotlight will just put the color on top. Um, yeah, I think I've covered everything. If you've got any more questions, if you'd like me to elaborate, please tell me because I know this is a bit rushed. Uh, thanks for stopping by and look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.